Welcome back to PJ's CAD class for jewelry. Today we would like to build a pendant with 5mm round stone bezel set and the rabbit ear bell. The command we possibly going to use today is mesh outline, revolve, curve from the two views, and sweep one rail. Let's get started. Before we start building this model, let's talk about the concept of the stone setting. If you look at the front view, I have this uh, stone profile here. Um, they all have the name with it. Um, you have this as a table. This is the crown. Where the thin area is called girdle and pavilion, which is the bottom area, and also the culet. The very important part of the stone setting, for example, if you have a prong, you definitely doesn't want to have a metal go over the crown area and reach the table because it's going to make the stone look really small. You don't want to have a prong too thin as well because the stone might be fall out. The very important part is right here where is the girdle area that is where stone is measured and also it's being held. Approximately after your jeweler finish this stone setting, the prong will be approximately 50 to 70 percent of the crown area, which is the high, and the thickness of the prong shouldn't be cut more than 50 percent so for example if this prong is about one millimeter after the stone is setting in there shouldn't be cut more than 0.5 millimeter that is the basic concept for the stone setting after it is set so now let's start building a bezel for the stone like this. This is a 5 millimeter stone, brown stone in mesh. And a lot of time, even though we use old snap or we try to snap on it, the mesh doesn't allow us to snap. But we really need this profile so we can build our prong very precisely. So this is what we do. We go to the command right here you type it mesh online and it will ask you to pick up any mesh poly surface or surface we want to pick on the stone and it looks like there's nothing happened but if you move your mouse to click here you're gonna notice there is a curve right there I'm going to temporarily hide my stone so you will see that outline now we're gonna enlarge the front view. So the goal is to make the rendering look finished. We are going to use partial of this profile and then we're gonna build a prong with it. There are a few ways to build a prong. You can use the um, curve tool, control point curve, and kind of eyeball what is the best at this point and then we want to have another one make sure your gumball is on near point is on and we want to build something like this and we'll finish it with the curve now I need to have this profile there so I'm going to use the polyline and make sure I snap to the end point over there so now I can select all the curve and join them together become one single curve that will fit the stone profile perfectly remember we're talking about the setting concept if for some reason make this curve either too tall or too short you can go ahead and turn on the control point and kind of drag them in order to 
find a perfect place for it. I'm going to turn on my gumball so it's easier for me to manipulate. Okay, so that's perfect. Now what we wanted to do is I'm going to turn on my stone again. We're going to have this curve and this time I would like to use the command under the surface. It's called revolve. The starting axis, since my stone is right at a zero, zero, so I'm just going to type it zero and move my mouse down holding the shift so that will be exactly 90 degree and then starting angle is zero and I want to go 360 degree and then we will get this bezel here. I'm going to turn this bezel into other layer by right click to any of the layer you want to and change object layer. So now we have this bezel. Now let's look, take a look on the right view. We want to build a loop right here for the chain to go through. Uh, we can simply just do the chain, uh, do the curve, something like this. But the curve is kind of not so nice. So I want it to be something to be exact. So I'm going to use some curve to help me. Starting with this polyline, I wanted to starting from inside because they're going to connect it. And then I approximately want to have four millimeters. So I'm just going to type four. And then you're going to see there's a set distance. No matter where your mouse click, that will be four from where the start point. It's going to hold it a shift and I will click. Then I want to type it two and again I want to hold it on the shift and click. So now I have two sections together one is four one is two. I'm going to use another uh, line work from the midpoint and then I want to make sure my all snap is on and endpoint is on. So I'm going to snapping into that endpoint. And then I want to type it too. So if I'm going to use this as a guideline, I can using an arc, snapping into where's the center and snapping from here to here. So I will have this arc is exactly two millimeter from here to here and from the center to this side as well. The second thing I wanted to do is to create a curve from here to here. I'm going to temporarily hide this one. We could have just do a straight line going here to here, but notice that you are going to have a something really sharp here and it doesn't look good. So what I like to do is using blend tool by creating a little tag there first and then I'm going to use the blend tool is leaving in the icon under the curve tool or you can go into the curve and it is here blend curve okay so either one will work so I'm going to use the blend tool and I'm going to blend from this end to that end of course, you can adjust it, but we kind of notice we have a really smooth curve right there. All right. And then I'm going to have this curve, just going to mirror using this center as my axis and mirror to the other side. So now let's join all of this. Now let's take a look on the top view. Anything you draw right here on the right view, it will show exactly on the C plane, which is construction plane on the top view. We don't want our bell to look really straight. We actually want it to have a little bit curve there. So I'm going to go on the top view and I'm going to draw a curve 
approximately look like this. Now, I'm going to hide the stone first. And if you see the curve we have in between this one and that one, I want to tell Rhino I wanted to build a curve like this, but in this direction. So what we are going to do is going to use the command is called curve from two views. It's le either leaving in the icon right here, or you can go into the curve and you will find it's curve from two views. You're going to select both of the curve and it will automatically generate this curve that is follow both curve that you select. Now I'm going to prepare for my sweep and I need a profile for the sweep. I'm going to use the rectangular tool with the center and I'm going to snap to the endpoint. Now I have to look at the front view and I can eyeball with the size I want it or I can type it the size I want it. Now let's look at the top view. The key for the successful sweep and the sweep will look nice is you want to have your profile 90 degree to your curve uh, the rail possible. So that's move a little bit angle over there. And we also wanted to make uh, the edge a little bit rounded so you will look nicer on the rendering. The command we're going to use is fitted corners. So we basically want to fill, fill it this into round edges. Now I'm looking at the right view and I want to tilt it the angle a little bit so it's 90 degree at this way on the right view as well. Maybe I want to move it up a little bit. Okay, so now we are ready. I want to mirror this one to the bottom. So now we have the profile and then we have the rail ready. Let's take a look on the perspective. I'm going to hide those lines so that doesn't bother you. It's easier for us to see. Now you can see we have a clear profile for those two and the rail. So here we go. We go into the surface, sweep one rail. This is the rail and this is the cross section. I always like to move the arrow to the center and make sure they are facing the same direction so they don't flip. So now we have one. Let me turn on the rest of it and see what proportion look like. I might need to move this guy just a little bit there and maybe move it a little bit angle. Okay, now I'm going to turn off this again to show you something. Notice that this one is not solid. So when I try to bling, it will have an issue. So we need to cap this guy. The command is called cap. It will ask you to select your surface and we're going to pick up this surface and you will cap it. All I need to do now is mirror this guy, type it zero so that will mirror exactly evenly on the other side and that's bowling unit this guy. Now let me turn on the rest of it and make sure that it's in a good position and we can bowling unit.
this guy. Here we go, a simple pendant with the bezel set and rabbit ear bell. Thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope to see you soon again in my other tutorial.